Are you tired of negotiating the autoimmune maze? You may want to know whether you are Th1 or Th2. You may have done the Th1, Th2 challenge. Were the results clear and conclusive? Or did it leave you more confused from a bad reaction? After three bad reactions from my patients, I decided there must be another way than the Th1, Th2 challenge. In addition to this, there was starting to be a lot of information about the newly discovered TH17 system. It had been clearly identified as actively involved in the onset and the continuation of autoimmune conditions. Then neuroscience labs gave me six months of carte blanche lab testing. My entire autoimmune patient base benefited from having stimulated cytokine hormone and neurotransmitter testing done. It was very revealing as all of those with autoimmune conditions were predominantly TH17. Allow me to show you some examples of the results on women who have Hashimoto's or rheumatoid arthritis and reacted badly to the TH1, TH2 challenge. To better explain the immune system, we will use major scale. Major scale for the immune system runs from 0 to 150. On the left, 0 is death through complete immune system disintegration, either due to chronic immune system failure, medicine induced, or an acquired immune deficiency. From 0 to 30 denotes a very incompetent immune cell activity characterized by a loss of an ability to respond to immune challenges. The point 30 denotes approaching immune incompetence unless the production and activation of the immune cells will respond to give it a higher potential. From point 30 to 60, there is a decreased immune response. And from 75 to 100, we note complete health with 100 being the maximum quality of a perfect being. From 100 to 150, there is an overstimulated, aggressive immune response with cytokine storms occurring when exposed to any triggers. At 130, there will be symptoms of frequent cytokine storms. At the rate 150 on the right side, death takes place through septic shock anaphylaxis, or toxic shock. Major scale relates to each of the Th1, Th2, and Th17 systems in addition to any yet to be revealed Th system. Each system reacts independent of the other systems when exposed to food, bacteria, parasites, and yeast as well as collective at a baseline level. It's not as simple as am I Th1 or Th2. Autoimmune conditions clearly have Th17 involved. Now let's take a look at the first Hashimoto's case. The woman experienced a general Th2 immune activation when eating lectin containing foods. However, at the same time, lectins suppressed her Th1 system. Bacterial lipopolysaccharides, or LPS, exposure provoked a Th17 activation, while at the same time suppressed her Th1 system. When she ate lectin foods, things got crazy. She knew something was going on with the foods, but was never able to identify problem foods. For more information on lectins, click on the link in this video or on the page below. Hashimoto's case number two was a raw vegan whose diet consisted primarily of raw soft lectin foods and high amounts of hard lectin foods. She was convinced by the information she had gleaned from the internet that being a raw vegan was the way to reverse her Hashimoto's autoimmune thyroiditis. In her mind, the biggest problem was the reaction to the supplements, which she took at meals. 
The test results show that it was not the supplements, but rather it was her heavy consumption of soft and hard lectin foods. The stimulated cytokine profile showed her diet was provoking an elevated baseline immune activation along with a severe Th2 and Th17 immune activation. Bacterial LPS would suppress her Th1 system while provoking a Th17 response. It should be noted that probiotic bacterial LPS is indistinguishable from gut bacteria LPS. Case number three never got sick but always felt terrible with constant migraines. Lectins and bacterial LPS provoked a severe Th17 cytokine storm, but it would be short-lived because her immune system fatigued easily. Overall, her immune system was suppressed. This is why she never got sick, no colds, no flus, just constantly felt bad. Any trigger her exposure to lectins or bacterial LPS suppressed her Th1 system, as well as suppression of her immune mediator cytokines. Case number four was a hot mess. Her Th1, Th2, and Th17 were all constantly activated. Nothing seemed to affect her Hashimoto's autoimmune thyroiditis. Imagine how confusing it would be when trying to determine what foods trigger when lectin foods can both activate and suppress the Th2 systems responsible for food allergies. She claimed to do better on probiotics. When you look at the lab results, you see why. Probiotic bacterial LPS suppressed chemokine production responsible for the overall constant activation of her immune system. Rheumatoid arthritis case number one was experiencing a high Th17 immune activation when exposed to lectins or bacterial LPS at a high baseline level. In addition to that, lectins activated both Th1 and Th2's immune systems. The poor thing couldn't eat anything. This explains her rheumatoid arthritis, as there is a direct link to lectin foods provoking rheumatoid arthritis. Her reactions were so chronic she was losing the ability to produce chemokines and cytokines that would control her immune response while bacterial LPS suppressed her Th1 immune response. You can see in rheumatoid arthritis case number two that the lectins are directly linked to her Th17 immune activation. She was also experiencing an elevated Th2 response to lectins, while bacterial LPS provoked a Th1 response. The constant stimulation of her healthy high lectin diet supported by bone broth was fatiguing her immune system to a point where chemokines were unable to be produced, leaving her chemokine suppressed when exposed to lectins and bacterial lipopolysaccharides. In your quest to determine if you are Th1 or Th2, you may be missing not only the possibility of being immune suppressed or immune stimulated, but also the Th17 involvement as you have seen in the previous six cases. As was stated previously, it's not as simple as am I Th1 or Th2. When the underlying symptoms you're experiencing is cytokine induced sickness that involves Th1 Th2 and Th17 systems individually and collectively. How many of these symptoms on both sides of the scale are you experiencing? You have a better understanding of autoimmune conditions now. Let us help you out of this autoimmune maze. Are you ready for the next step? 
call Dr. Peterson today for more information.